Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. What a joy for me to always bring the word from the Lord for you on a Monday morning. This is Evangelist Marion from Jesus' Lord Crusades. Please help us to spread the word. You may never know who you could be saving this morning. So share and share. At 12 noon Eastern Time, please join us on all our social media platforms for Afternoon Tea with Jesus. We are live every Monday at 12 noon Eastern. Well, every year, I join the Jews to celebrate the new year. It's called Rosh Hashanah. Um, The new year for the Jews is usually around the first or second week in September. Um, And this is when they usher themselves into the new year, the new upcoming year. And so, uh, which is currently 2021. I like the idea of always entering into the new year before the Gregorian calendar, which places, you know, um, us on 31st night. So usually our 31st night or the celebrating the new year is during around that time. For the Jews, um, they celebrate that in September. And so I always join their service. I love that uh, New Year Shabbat service, the Rosh Hashanah service. So I do my best every year. I don't miss it to visit a nearby Messianic synagogue, emphasis on Messianic. Um, it means Jews who believe in Jesus as a Messiah, the Son of God, who was and is coming back again. I love the Shabbat service. It's a beautiful time of praise and worship, feasting and all of that. This year, um, we couldn't do a lot of feasting because of the current situation, the pandemic and the social distances and all of that. But I find it very relaxing and it was really a joy. And so I have already ushered myself into 2021. So happy new year to all our Jewish friends um it's for us at jesus is lord crusades is a year of exploit and um, yesterday the rabbi really ministered so powerfully and uh, there was a phrase that he used in his sermon which got everybody to sit at the edge of their seat and um, this morning i really just want to kind of steal it and build from there he said if you were on trial today for being a follower of Christ, and we needed people to testify for you, will there be enough evidence to prove that you are truly a follower of Christ? If your freedom depended on this evidence, can we find someone to honestly vouch for you? Right now in your own circle of influence, if we needed someone to bail you out and all we needed was five people to honestly say that Peter, John, Amma, Kofi, whoever you are, David is a believer. Would we be able to find somebody to really say that? That this guy has been with Jesus. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4 verses 13 that when they saw the courage of Peter and John, and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men. They were astonished and they took note that these men have been with Jesus. Can we really find somebody to say about you that you are a guy or you are a woman who have been with Jesus? Can your prayer life prove it? The Bible says that there was a decree in the days of Daniel that no one must worship any other God. But yet he found himself praying three times a day. That decree did not change him because he had a personal relationship with God and he wasn't going to allow anything to stop him from worshiping the God that he knew. Will there be a proof like that in your life? Can your faith or your belief system prove it? Will you be able to say like Abraham that God, this is what you have given me and Lord, you've asked for it so I'm giving it back. Can we say that this guy will give everything he has to the Lord because he knows and understands he's only a steward of it. Hmm. Will you be able to give your only son or your only child to the Lord as an offering if he requires of it? Can you say your faith has produced because the Bible says that faith without works is dead. What scars do you have to prove to us that really you are a believer? 
since you became a Christ follower? Has anyone come to know Jesus because of you? Can your own children, your spouse, yes, your spouse, testify that you're really a believer? I went into this Shabbat service with a good friend. On our way home, she said to me, hmm, evangelist, I was actually asking and counting on my fingers, and this is a believer, if I could find 10 people to really testify. And she said, Lord, help me. Would I get 10 people to vouch that my walk with the Lord is real, that I'm really a Christ follower? She said, I was just thinking about it. Let me leave you this morning with Matthew chapter 5, verses 14. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see and glorify your Father in heaven. Beloved, this morning, does your faith manifest itself in your actions? I'm asking you to Go to the Lord in prayer. Allow the Spirit of God to use this word to minister to you. He's the only one who can throw that light and show you the areas that you need to give to him so that he can mold you into what he wants you to be. Is your life really a proof of Christ? If we needed evidence that you were Christ's follower, would we find any? Happy Monday. This is Evangelist Ryan from Jesus' Lord Crusade. May the Spirit of the Lord minister to you. Amen and amen.